I found myself very depressed. Um, I'd cry a lot, really angry. I just didn't seem to be able to live the way that I saw other people living. And I thought, uh, I could try and find some help here. I just felt very unhappy, quite depressed, and I would cry a lot, be quite angry, and just, and I'd look around and I'd see people enjoying their lives and being quite joyful, and I just felt that I never had that. So my first thing was, why haven't I got this? Let's find out. We'll try and find out that what's kind of stuck or, just why don't I feel as other people felt, you know, that, that lust for life, that I was quite dead. There was a part of me that was quite dead. My first belief was if I go for counselling, I will be cured almost, like they tell me what to do. No, actually, my thinking wasn't I'll do it. It was, I thought it would be a magic cure. And actually it was a long process and I was taught to do it myself actually, given guidance. But actually I think the most interesting thing was, <clears throat> as I mentioned, I was depressed and angry. I had so many issues that were hidden inside of me that really I didn't even know that I had. So with a lot of talking, a lot of crying, but I could say in a healthy way, a lot of it was lifted. Um, so I think that's the process, just clearing out um, all, the, all the stuff from when I was very young to a teenager to a young adult, which I didn't know it was there. Then I'm winding it, no wonder I was sort of full up and quite low. I think firstly I had to identify that I was really angry and, and what I was angry about and, and what made me angry. And I, I suppose my process through the process of counselling, actually, that a lot of the anger was actually sadness. So I, I allowed myself to cry and I did get angry at times and I, I kind of raised my voice, but again, the counsellor had allowed me to do this and showed me that it was okay to be angry. And that's what, and I suppose there's, what I've learned is through that time I was being angry and I was being quite loud, but I didn't go into rage. I was just allowed to, to I was allowed to raise my voice and express that I was angry and how I felt. Yeah, so the process of working through my depression, first it was realizing how full up I am and it, how it was explained to me was where I didn't deal with my emotions, they kind of just went on top of each other until I was actually really full and it would come out all over the place and so sunken, I should say, sunken. So with the process of that was just talking, really explaining from when I was a child and how I was treated and how I felt, which took some time to kind of get my head around because I didn't realise how I felt. So bit by bit, I, I released. I released a lot of the issues and I just felt lighter. As the time went on, I felt lighter. Um, it was explained to me like a tree. If I, if I was a tree and I didn't blow in the wind, I'd break. So it was allowing myself to be, to just go with the flow. And I tried to do that. Um, a lot of talking, it really, whether it was true or whether it was untrue, it was, it's what I thought actually. 
So the process of talking, just letting it all come out. And then I was, was able to fill up that emptiness with kind stuff and it lifted the depression to some degree. If I'm honest, I sometimes get low. I don't get, I don't get as depressed as I once did. I've, I allow myself to cry. And I think since I've been able to do that, I don't seem so full up. So I don't get so depressed. I allow it to come out. Another thing which I do is I exercise, which my brain will tell me not to do, but it's another way that I've coped with to getting myself so low, so depressed. I, I'm not as angry as I used to be, which, which I've noticed is the more I cry, the less angry I get. And if I find myself getting really angry, actually I might just take myself away and cry and just allow for that to come out and I'm less angry than I used to be. So I, I might sound like I cry all the time, but it, it's healthy. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm just allowing for my emotions to, to almost clear, to clear the waves. So I'm less depressed and I'm less angry. I'd done counselling. I had counselling before I was actually ready for it. So almost expecting for, for the counselling to be the answer as such. So with, if I go there, I, it would all be OK. But I think what I've learned in the process is I've been taught, I've been guided really into to know what to do, but I'm still the one that has to go away and really put the work in. In some weird way, I had that they was there for me and only me. And I suppose a friendship, it's sort of a two way. I'd listen, I'd speak, I'd listen, I'd speak. But having the therapist, it was, it was all about me and they showed interest. It was almost I was, I was allowed to indulge in myself and be heard. So, okay, there's a relationship, but really it is one-sided. So I don't know how healthy that is, but it felt good. <laughs> it felt, yeah, someone was giving me time. <laughs>